Recently, the U.S. Department of Labor put out statistics where they named the fastest growing occupations in the nation and home care aid and personal care aid were the top two fastest growing occupations nationally. There's two different uh, types of direct care workers or um, attendants, people who provide services to people with disabilities or elders. Um, the program that I oversee is with the personal care attendant program and uh, by, for short it's often called PCAs. The consumer the person with a disability or the elder with a disability, they're the ones who's doing the hiring, the firing, the scheduling, the training of the person that's providing the hands-on care to them. The first day that you worked was so stressful on the first couple of days <laughs> that anybody works because there's so much detail mm -hmm. to the work. It's a lot of meticulous like direction taking and Liz is really good about uh, directing me on what you know, on like body mechanics or like different things, the way that she needs to be positioned. Home care aid works for an agency. So they have a supervisor, a nurse, who supervises, trains, hires them, does background checks. PCAs and home care aides do basically the same exact tasks in terms of assisting with activities of daily living. Some of the tasks that they provide are things like hands-on assistance with bathing, uh, dressing, feeding, um, grooming, um, and then there's also other tasks like uh, meal prep, um, shopping, laundry, housekeeping. I could not be doing my job as an ADA coordinator without personal care assistance. She does um, bathing, grooming, dressing, uh, laundry doing, sweeping up. I don't know what I would do without her. I just, I couldn't function day to day without her. My house would be a mess, I would be a mess. She takes care of all my needs. A lot of these clients, the only person that they come in contact with is their aide. And um, they become, you know, family in a way to that aide. And, and they love talking to the aide, they share their life with the aide, they um, appreciate the aide so much. In the beginning, I used to clean everything so that she wouldn't have to do so much. But uh, it got you still do. To the point, <laughs> still, no, not really. Still to the point that I couldn't do it, especially vacuuming. I think that you know it can be challenging um, dealing with some clients. Also, you know, some can be difficult. Um, for home care agencies, you're moving a lot from client to client, so there's travel involved. In the winter, it can be difficult to move from client to client. Some of them are more difficult, yes, because you don't. When you first go there, you see that what you're walking into, and um, some places are really small with a lot of stuff and cluttered and it's hard to move around but you can do it. It's a tough job but you really have to love your job that you do. You don't only work for the money. You work to help others. I mean you need the money too but you know if you don't love the job you won't do a good job. And I think what people need to know is that just about anybody can do this job if they desire to do it and they desire to do a good job. It is a profession in which people can really grow. It, it can be a very rewarding, rewarding job. Um, you have flexibility, um, you meet new people, you learn new skills, and you can really take it as far um, as you want it. I love to do this job. This is my kind of job. I really, really love to do this kind of job. I love to help people.